morning, folks. Today we're on Toledo Bend Reservoir. Giant lake, the biggest lake in Texas. And I'm with my best friend. We decided to fish it in kayaks. So, huge lake, little kayaks. Let's go see if we can catch some bass. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Come on, Craig. Craig's got a good one on, guys. <laughs> Look at this land job. Did you get the rod back there? <laughs> Nice, brother. Freaking nice. Look at that guy. My rod's in the water. <laughs> I'm uh, trying, to, trying to fight all this. He absolutely inhaled it, man. Oh, yeah, he did. Justin, I didn't even reel. It hit the water, and I was like, oh, I'm stuck on some lily pads. Saw nothing, no splash. Dude, those are all, look how he sucked it. It's amazing how those fish guys can just suck that top water under, and you won't even know it. When you get a good one, like a four or five pounder like he's got. They can totally take it under and you won't even know. Nice catch, bro. Thank you. Glad you talked me into a heavier braid. Ready to fish hold, some more? Yeah, hold one more time. Nice. Let's do it, man. Yeah, dude, 30 pound braid's not gonna cut it on fish like that. Back, Off into the lily back pads. Back to the ninja status. All right, bro. Do I need to retie? Tell me, tell me the truth. I dude. would. Okay. I would definitely retie. That's what you want. Draw it up that way. Uh, got one on a whopper plopper. He's got me pinned. Uh, still see him. It's not. It's a tiny one. It is. Yeah, he, he absolutely crushed the Whopper. It was like a Whopper Big Mac explosion. Just a little guy, but oh my gosh, he just exploded on that thing. Anytime you get a fish on a Whopper plopper, though, it's a good day. He's got you in there deep. Craig's just had another one blow up way back in this stuff. I mean, it's just thick and nasty. I'm taking off my leopard colored frog. I'm gonna put on the little Spro Junior like he has. I'm also gonna go ahead and tie on a buzz frog, one of these rage toads. And I'm gonna use that hook that I showed you guys in my last vlog that I really liked. Where I caught that, that big fish on the fluke. I'm gonna use this on the frog and see how it performs. Looks pretty good to me. Got you on a tree? There's fish just everywhere, guys. In the, in the sticks, you know? That frogging's hard work. Yeah, she weren't kidding. Got him. Oh, it came off. Oh, it felt tasty. Really didn't even explode on it that hard. You just sucked it. What do you think it was? I don't know. I just I didn't expect it. I was watching your lure, and then I saw this giant pterodactyl. <laughs> nice, nice. Get him. Uh, Get him. Gotta wear on him. Get him. Gotta wrench him. Uh, Not bad. That's a good one, buddy. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That is yes, a good one, sir. sir. That's a good one, sir. Oh, look at that golden light shining on his fins. Nice cast. Pull them out of there. Buddy, buddy, they've all just been sucking it under, you guys. It's it's crazy. Like, you would think they're like a one pounder, but they're like this size. Just chunky, fat. When they're big, they can do that. That is a beautiful fish. Nice one. Way to get them out of there. Dude, I went so hard. Like, my forearms are shaking right now. <laughs> Go get bigger. Go get fatter. You're already good. Woo. See you, baby. Whew. Gotta love it, man. Frog bite and the lily pads. Morning. Doesn't get better than that. Craig's on fire today. Decent one, bro. Hey, we need to do like a, or you need to teach me, you need to do like an educational hour on landing these things in the kayak. It's hard, man. I'm not sure I've really mastered it. It is tricky. That is a nice, healthy fish, man. Look at the fatness in that tail. You wow. That explosion, eh? Yeah. Let me see. Let's hold it up. Hold it up for the uh, LFG fans. We're in the wilderness, man. We are, dude. Just look around, guys. We are in the we are in the wild, wild west. We're we, we're in the deep woods, man. The wild, wild east. 
This lake is so full of pads and vegetation right now. It's crazy. And we're, we're just in one creek arm, which is probably bigger than Lake Fork itself and a lot of other lakes that I fished. Just this one creek arm. Like this lake is just so gigantic, so huge. But we're just gonna try to cover water and fish whatever looks good in this kayak. right here this is all floating kind of like hay grass and all I'm doing is I'm taking a little flipping setup with a 3 8 ounce weight pegged the little zoom Z craw junior on here and I think this is a 3 aught uh, flipping hook wide gap flipping hook 50 pound power pro max quattro and I've got just a beefy stick rod and all I'm doing is just dabbling it next to the boat just in this really thick grass kind of bobbing it up and down in these holes. The sun's coming out, there's gotta be some bass starting to get up in here, nestling in for the day. Just got one flipping, guys. I've got them pinned against the lily pads right now. Wow, certainly took off with it. Whew. Nice, healthy one. Absolutely just started running with it. Choked that Z-craw. Got to smell you. God, that smell just never gets old, guys. Uh, flipping bass number two, and it's a tiny one. It's crazy when you just flip into that thick stuff, though, and it just stops. Cause it, cause they ate it. Yeah, they just ate it. Just a little guy. Pretty. That's what I get for doing that. <laughs> Drop him on the pad. Put him on top of the lily pad. Matt. See what he did? He said, it's true. That's a little guy. They're getting smaller. That's not supposed to happen. Not getting any bigger. I'm dying without a buff right now. My neck feels like it's on fire. It's the worst fishing decision I've made all year. Leave the boat ramp without a buff. But it was an early morning situation and I was like, man, gotta get out there while the top water's good. Don't wanna go back and waste time. Now I'm gonna be sunburned. Got another one flipping here, guys. I was literally just looking at a four pounder swimming around under my kayak. And I, like, there's all kinds of like bluegill and little shad schools around these grass clumps, even though it's in really shallow water. But I was looking at a nice fish swimming right under me. And then I flipped into the little shallow grass, and this guy bit it. They're just all up in that grass. They love it. They're so healthy. They look awesome. This might be some of the best smelling bass I've ever caught. Oh man. You just see the stuff that they're living in right here. Just cruising in and out of. It's only a few feet deep. Suck that frog down. Just a little guy. Fun, fun fight. Oh. Midday frog. <laughs> oh, I got another one flipping, guys. But he ate it on top of the lily pad. That was crazy. That's a super healthy fish right there. Just look at that 
Looks like a female. Real small mouth, real fat. Whew. Aggressive. Well, since the sun's come out, I've, I've been flipping a lot. I've caught a lot of fish, but no big ones. I'm kind of surprised, you know, on that rig right there, you would expect to uh, catch a pretty good one. But still, the, um, you know, the four pounders that we caught this morning, they are eluding us right now. But they've got to be up in here in the stuff. Just a little bit more buried. That was epic. That was epic, man. Oh my gosh, he ate it. That was epic. Oh man. Guys, look at that. Craig, I owe that one to you. That a boy. I owe that one to you. Craig said we'd be doing ourselves a disservice if we didn't go all the way back in this cove. And he choked the frog. Back here in probably less than a foot of water. All right, guys, nice one. Another, you know, probably four and a half. Caught on that frog way back in this creek. Pretty awesome. All right, we'll let this guy go back into his waters. They just camouflage out, man. Oh, ninja. They're just like little ninjas. Gosh, yeah. sneaky. Well Great. done. Glad we came back in here. Schooling action. There's one. Got it. That's a good one. That's a great one. Wow. Just had a school come up right here in front of the boat. A good school. Right before this little rainstorm. Here we go. Short lived. Uh, it was a great time out here on Toledo Bend today with my buddy Craig. We didn't break that 20 pound mark, but we did catch about 17 pounds and had three really nice fish in that four pound class on topwater frogs. Let us know in the comments what your favorite frog is. I kind of like Bobby's perfect frog. Craig's is a Spro Junior for sure. That's what he's caught his PB on and it definitely worked today. It's turning me on to it. Let us know what your favorite frog is in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the other fishing videos at the end of this video in the annotation links and the description below, and we'll catch y'all later. Feel decent? Pretty small? Oh. What a strike. I don't know if I still have him. Yeah, I got him. <laughs>